Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to continue our work with Inventor's Utility for Editing Videos, Video Producer. We're going to learn about the timeline in this lesson. Let's go to the Inventor Studio environment, and we're going to pick up where we left off in our previous tutorial. I've got three camera here shown in the tree, three animations, and one production. Let's review the animation duration. Animation 3 is selected now. It's 30 seconds long. Let's right-click on it and select Activate. Animation 2, it's also 30 seconds long. And Animation 1, let's right-click and activate it. Animation 1 is 8 seconds. Now I'm going to create a second production. Right-click on Productions, select New. Now right-click and make it active. When I go ahead and launch Video Producer, Animation 1 is going to be my active animation, so keep that in mind. And let's launch Video Producer. First, I'm going to use a still shot from Camera 3. I'll drag it onto the timeline. Let me stretch it out. Notice I can't stretch it beyond 8 seconds. And I don't have a way to modify the Video Producer timeline directly. Let's go ahead and close Video Producer so we can learn how to troubleshoot this kind of issue. Now let's change the timeline for Animation 1. Let's make it 9 seconds, for example. OK. And let's activate Video Producer again. Now I'm able to stretch the still out to 9 seconds. The problem with this is that Animation 1 has its own animation, which is 8 seconds long. Here we can see the duration at 8 seconds. Now I'd really like to keep this animation at 8 seconds long. This, of course, affects production too. Let's open up Video Producer again. When I try to drag it out further, it jumps back to 8 seconds. Let's close Video Producer. And let's figure out how we can avoid this trouble. I'll create one more production. Right-click, New. Now let's right-click on Production 3 and activate it. And I'll create one more animation. I'll leave it pretty much empty, but I will activate it. Right-click, select Activate. And let's set its duration at, let's say, 10.5 seconds. Click OK. Now we've got Production 3 and Animation 4 active. Let's click Video Producer. And let's bring in a still shot from Camera 3. As you probably guessed, I can stretch it out now to 10.5 seconds. If later on I want to change the length of the production, I just go back to Animation 4. That's where I modify the length of the production timeline. Let's say 12.5 seconds. And click OK. And back to Video Producer. Now I can stretch out my production to 12.5 seconds. And this concludes our lesson about working with the timeline in Video Producer.